Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue with the Let's Talk Money channel and an emergency update video for a lot of you buying stocks on Robinhood. And we've been talking a lot about Robinhood stocks lately and the market has gone crazy on the flood of money into some of these stocks. It's worked so far with Robinhood investors beating the billion dollar hedge funds, but the biggest risk to this kind of momentum investing strategy is that it doesn't last forever. Yeah, every strategy works until it doesn't. Now, just for background, Robinhood has added over 3 million investor accounts just this year. That makes it bigger than Schwab and three times larger than E-Trade. That's more than 13 million investor accounts, and it's a powerful force in driving shares of a stock when the herd gets behind a company. In fact, we recently looked at the five most popular Robinhood stocks, so those with rising investor interest and a surging stock price. So I'll leave a link in the video description below to that one. But more importantly here is this idea of momentum investing can go either way just as quickly. You know, Tesla is the poster child for momentum investing, but has lost over half its value in multiple times just in the past few years. Netflix, another momentum darling, has lost more than 30% of its stock price on two separate occasions over the last two years. So it is critical that if you're investing in these hot stocks, these momentum names, that you're able to see that trend when it turns before the share price melts. And that's what I want to do with this video, show you those popular Robinhood stocks that are losing investor interest and, and why you might want to avoid them. We'll do this by looking at the top holdings on the platform, along with how many accounts hold each stock. For example, this chart of United Airlines, you see the stock price in red, and in green here is the number of accounts holding those shares, so a great measure of that investor interest. And for the most part, you're gonna see a direct relationship between the stock price and the number of accounts. As more investors get interested and buy into those shares, the stock price is gonna increase, but it also works in reverse. You know, as investors sell out of those shares, the stock price could tumble. Now we'll get to those stocks next, but I wanna give a shout out to all you in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Now, if you aren't investing in Robinhood yet, use the link I'll post in the video description below and you'll get a free share of stock just for opening an account. Now, I actually use my Webull account more for trading anymore because of that stock simulator tool that lets me test out those strategies before investing in real money. I'll include a link to Webull in the description below as well, so check that out and get two free shares of stock when you open an account and make your first $100 deposit. Now let's count down to the top five Robinhood stocks losing investor interest on the platform. Fifth on our list, Aurora Cannabis, ticker ACB, which saw over 4,500 investor accounts sell out of the shares. Now this is one of the few on the list that I'm actually still bullish on the shares, especially over the next six to 12 months. You know, even after that selling, really since May, there are still over 450,000 accounts on the platform holding ACB and putting it in the top 10 holdings. Now this exodus started in May when over a million accounts held the shares, so, so there is definitely still the potential for this one to see that investor interest come back up again. Now back in May, that coincided with the company's reverse stock split, so the graphic here is a little misleading. The share price really hasn't surged quite as much as this looks like, but there is potential headlines that could send it back up. Now, I'm actually doing an update to marijuana stocks soon and highlighting a strong tailwind that could bring investors back. And because of the pandemic and the lockdowns, states are going to be dangerously underfunded over the next year or two, and they're going to be looking for ways to plug that budget gap. Now, that could mean a, a rush to legalize marijuana and collect those taxes, and just the headlines alone could mean double-digit upside for these stocks. Analysts are all over the place on this one, with a low estimate of $7.65 over the next year and a high target of $21.34 per share. United Airlines, ticker UAL, saw almost 5,200 accounts sell out of the stock last week, which was a bad week overall for the airlines. Now that represents just 1.5% of the accounts holding these shares, but, but it's still a trend that you can't ignore as an investor. And besides this breakdown in momentum, there are two reasons why I'm still very hesitant to get into these airline stocks. First, in a study by CNBC recently, uh, just one in five families reported their summer plans include air travel, and less than one in 10 said they planned on taking an international flight. Uh, travel plans are increasing, but it's mostly for driving. I guess people just aren't comfortable yet being crammed into that metal Petri dish for an hour or more during this pandemic. Another factor is if you look at the capacity needed just to break even, United needs to fill 74% of its seats on its planes on average to make money. Now that's not the highest among the carriers, but it's not the best either, and I don't think any of these carriers is going to see anywhere near this level of capacity for at least a year. Analysts have price targets from $25 on the low end to as high as $61 per share over the next year, so there is some optimism for the stock, but it's just a tough call here. 
Shares of biotech company Inovio, ticker INO, continued their tumble last year with over 12,500 investor accounts selling out of the shares. Inovio is in the race for that COVID-19 vaccine and started its phase one trials in April for its INO 4800 candidate. Now, initial data for the trial was positive with all but two of the 36 patients showing an immune response to the virus within six weeks. The company also got a vote of confidence from the U.S. Department of Defense with a $71 million contract for purchasing its line of medical devices that, that is eventually going to help deliver that vaccine. Now, what's caused the shares to drop, though, has been what was missing from that test results release. Inovio didn't release how many patients produced neutralizing antibodies to prevent an infection, huh? okay, and an omission that wasn't lost on investors considering that Pfizer had just published one of its trial drugs on the same day with that antibody data. Now, as would be expected, there is a huge range in analyst targets for this one, uh, from lows of $8 a share to as much as $45 each over the next year. Now, for these biotechs, it's just going to be who can develop their vaccine or, or the treatment the fastest and which is actually going to work. You know, that's going to produce some stellar winners, but also a lot of disappointment. Penny Stock Synergy Maritime Holdings, ticker SHIP, saw one of the biggest investor exoduses last week, with more than 8,500 accounts selling out of the shares. The shares here aren't as widely held, but had a lot of interest over the last few months. That one-week selling, though, represents 12% of the accounts holding these shares and is a big loss of confidence by investors. Now, this is an extremely small company with a market cap of just $55 million, uh, though it does have $40 million in cash on the balance sheet and cargo rates have been pretty good this year. Investors have been hopeful that the company could add on, could put on more capacity with ship acquisitions, but were just really disappointed lately when it announced the purchase of a 15-year-old capsized cargo hauler. Uh, that puts Synergy at 11 ships, but just the age of this fleet means potentially more downtime. Now again, cargo rates are good right now, uh, but that might not last for long. So I'd actually like to see, I'd prefer to see the company put more of that cash reserve into paying off almost $200 million in debt instead of some of those acquisitions. Now the analyst targets look great here at $4.80 to $8 per share, but this is just from two analysts and I've never heard of either. So take this with a huge grain of salt. Shares of electric truck manufacturer Workhorse Group, ticker WKHS, have seen a massive sell-off lately, and 9% of the investor accounts on Robinhood sell out last week. Now, this isn't necessarily saying much about the stock, though. Okay, shares have jumped eight-fold in the last month, uh, just on that booming interest for all things electric vehicle, so a drop of 27% in the stock price is just a little bit of profit-taking. But we haven't seen the same kind of profit taking in all of the EV stocks. Shares of Nikola have fallen along with Workhorse, but NIO and Tesla have continued to gain over that period. Now that doesn't mean that the trade is over in Workhorse or Nikola, but be watching for that divergence in those EV stocks if you're investing here. Just four analyst targets here from $11.50 on the low end to as high as $26 per share over the next year. Click on the video to the right for the most popular Robinhood stocks with increasing investor interest. Five stocks to watch as the market rushes in to buy. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.